I don't know why I was doing it. Before. That's it. Oh, right. Oh, I forgot my bloody water again. Never mind, I didn't need it last time. Right, are we ready? Yep. Okay. Right. I've got. So, what happened to you at four o'clock in the morning? You had. I was, I was up till. Uh, I wait till seven. I just got. Yeah, it's a gastritis that I've got caused by naproxen. It's, I've got diverticulitis. It's buggered yeah, up my. Like yeah, yeah you, you've been, I've been taking that stuff, but so far, nothing. Yeah, strong, strong. I tell you, neat. Strong. Yeah. Um, you got to chew on the leaves as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you fix the cycle. I think if I if I get tired, I'll just turn back and leave you two to it. Yeah, but well, uh, lost then. No, <laughs> I know. you'll be better off. I've been there. I've been I've been there for longer than Richard. Yeah, yeah, he knows his way. But but if, if we could just do the way we went last time, because yeah, then we can pop yeah. back into Melvin's if we if yeah. we go that way. And, and also but, uh, we're seeing. Eric. Eric is on his way. Yeah. Colin didn't answer. I saw Eric yesterday. No, he's. You saw Eric? Oh, did you walk golf? Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Um, yeah, I'm golf. He was just walking around the golf course, so we just bumped into him. So he said he'd, he'd try and meet us, but you know, he's always been very flexible. Yeah. Colin is fixing his bike up. He phoned up. He wanted some grease. It, uh, the bearings have gone in his front wheel. And uh, I, I told him to go to Halfords, it's open at Chingford. So he, he, he said, I said, if, he, if they're not open, come round to me and I'll give you some grease, we'll try and fix it. But uh, he didn't come back, so I'm guessing he went and bought a new bearing from, from Halfords. Yeah. But isn't the shop open? No, the Giant's quite good, the broken Giant's quite good now. But he'll be expensive. Mind you, he's got to drive to Halfords, hasn't he? We was going to drive to Decathlon. <laughs> That's the nearest ones in, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know where it is now. Lakeside, I think, is the nearest to Decathlon, do you think? Have you heard, Pete, of, if you haven't, I've got some good news for you and Melvin. I've got a note of it here. Oh, can I find it? Tuesday Weld is still alive, or Greg's, what's it called? It's called the 78 Revolution. And they have, uh, it's based, well part of it is based in Cambridge, part of it is based in Walthamstow. And they've got a website and everything. They have, uh, they have these get-togethers playing, uh, like fates. So it's all, all jiving and everything to 78. But they, they do one every year. It looks pretty grim, to be honest. It's a lot, a lot of old fat blokes pretending they're jiving, you know. Like me. Right guys, are we going to stop? Yeah. Is he, is he turning into here? No, he's not. Okay. Oh, I would have it in that gear. <laughs> Are you on the... Uh... I'm on the giant. Oh, right. I was going to bring my trek out. My bike's creaking again. Oh, it's creaking as well. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's, I thought it was something to do with uh, carbon fibre bikes. I forgot what I did to solve it. Yeah. Uh, Have you peed? No. See, I've been out twice. Oh, we're going to have to find new partners, Pete. Bionic man here walks after he's been cycling. We're going to go right here.
Oh, I'm always glad when that bit's over. Yeah, worst thing. He's behind us. You all right, Pete? A tree's just oh, come. A tree came down. And it's creaking like that. Nice. Yeah. Hey, look. With my, it sounds like it's on the handlebars. Yeah. I think it's a matter of tightening the, that screw up here. It might be wrong. I've got one. I've got one in my, somewhere in my backpack. One. No, not that one. That one, I think. It's a stem. It actually could be the grips, isn't it? Right. No, what's that one? No, that's, uh, that's the one that goes wide and see inside. Oh, I've got that one. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a tree's come down in my, through my neighbour's fence. A tree? Yeah. A big one. I, I can't see it from where I looked. It's they've got, it's blocked off the back of their garden. She says oh, no, right. it's not done that much damage. But the best thing is, she asked them about the adder. Oh, and, the adder. Yeah, and they said, uh, What's well, if it, if we've got w kids, they'll come round and try and get it out of the garden. Oh. Um, and we, you know, so they of course <coughs> she said she hasn't. But you know, hopefully when this lockdown's over. Uh, we're hoping our grandkids will come around, so that'll be good. They what are your garden this weekend, by the way? They're gonna gonna be a what hose band, isn't there? Is that? Yeah, it's the driest may we've ever had. And that's yeah. that's what yeah. on the new on the local news or it was in uh isn't now I think in the papers. Shit, that's my vegetable patch is really fucked. Yeah. Not that there's much of a patch I have to say, but at least um, yeah, my uh Roses are going to suffer as well. That's my. I haven't bought any plants this year. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to. Um, right, that's right. Well, we went to buy a few plants. You know, twenty quid. Yeah. You know how much we spent? How much? Two hundred and fifty. Oh, God. God. That's that's hell. My wife. Probably. Yeah. Actually, I bought a few things myself. So. Yeah. Yeah. What's that hole? <laughs> Let's get on the path. It's leveler. <coughs> so this, I've written the things down. Uh, but he has, he sells seventy eights. This guy, what's his name? Oh, I've forgotten his name now. Uh, one based in Cambridge. He sells them. He sells 78. Yeah, on, um, on eBay. But they're quite expensive. But they're. When he, what he's played, they seem in great condition. Yeah, unless he's found a 